folks. Uh, I hope you had an awesome Christmas and I hope you have a happy new year tomorrow. Uh, I've been having a bit of a weird Christmas because I've been fucking having this worst cold so the only thing I've been doing is really watching uh, most of the all of the Star Wars movies including the new one and uh, also watching all the Hobbit extended plus all the Lord of the Rings uh, extended so that's 30 hours uh, worth of uh, good entertainment and uh, uh, you, as you can hear I sound a bit like General Grievous now so that's that's still the, the, the wrestling with the cold going on anyway I I wanted to answer some of the questions you have posted on our uh, Facebook uh, a couple of days ago. We we said uh, or we asked for uh, questions for uh, the egg and Christmas special, which is this one. Uh, I'm just gonna go uh, go through some of them here. Uh, we have Corentin Le Boloque is. Is there a upcoming tour with this new album? Yes, there is. Good question. Short answer. Uh, Tyler Cherist. What made you guys think of having everyone include their own songs, lyrics, and how hard was it to find a way to put them in? Uh, he's already been answered by Lucas Kreutzer. Uh, I'm sure the only one who created the lyrics was Richard. Only the songs were created by Roger, Henrik, and Richard number two. And that's that's correct. Uh, it was not really hard to to have different composers for the for the music, cause we we didn't really view it from is this gonna fit in to the unguided framework in a way. We just like we just looked into is this a good song? Yes, it's a good song. Let's include it. So it's it's. Uh, it wasn't really hard or uh, much thought into what would actually think, uh, work in the in the guided uh, music world. It's there. So, next question, Andreas Dirkes, is there a chance to see you on tour next year in Germany? There's a very big chance, Andreas. Thomas Bob, if you do a Europe tour, which band would you like to join with? Oh my, there's so many good good bands out there. Uh, I would really like to go out with uh, something maybe not exactly like our own uh, genre to uh, to have a bit more dynamic package uh, when we go out on tour. I would really love to, to go out tour with uh, Camelot for example, uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but. I think it's it's cool to mix up the the music a bit to to have a better dynamic on the package because I don't want to go to a show uh, show and see see like the same band over <laughs> over again three times basically uh, so I think I think the fans would be would agree to that. Uh, next question: Heiderich Tanner. New music video details would be good. Otherwise, what songs from Lost and Loading are you each of you most proud of? I really like to know. Music video details will come shortly. Maybe I, there's a bit of a teaser in this one. No, no. Uh, my favorite song is probably there's a lot of favorite songs on this album actually, but uh, I really like. Uh, Operation EAE, and also I, I, I'm a big fan of uh, Black Eyed Angel. Paul Ter Bartish Jr. Will there be another single before release? Also, will there be a Jewish tour? There will be another single. There's obviously going to be a main single because this lyric video was not not like the, the main single of the album. Uh, it, it's it's more <laughs> of a teaser of. Of what's to come, and uh, then we have the the main single and the and the, the video single, which is the same thing. Uh, Jewish tour, and uh, no, I doubt it. Sorry, <laughs> it's it's just like it, it it's not uh, a smart economic. Uh, it it wouldn't really work out for for us on this scale to be serious. So 
it would be really fun, but I don't think it will happen in a, in a, anytime soon. Jason sadly, an Australian tour would be awesome. It would be awesome indeed, and as Sam Wait says here, so expensive the tour here through. Yes, it is expensive the tour. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, grievous stuff. Um, David David Rask at one. What's each member's favorite song and why? Uh, since I'm alone here, I can't really speak for the others. But I already said that um, yeah, Black Eyed Angel and Operation He He is probably my favorite. Two. Did you hit any obstacles? What what was most difficult for each and every one of you? Well, <laughs> it was a bit of a fast record album altogether actually since um, since now, now we're we're in the same studio basically uh, er, everything musically has been done in in Hansen Studios which is which was perfect and since uh, we tried to record the vocals there as well but it didn't work out so we we went to uh, uh, Christian Sundin in Studio Haga where we also recorded uh, this lovely beast uh, and I think the, the oh sorry, I think the the vocal work for the album is amazing, and it was really challenging, and it was like a short period of time we had to to complete it all. But it's it turned out really really good, and and Christian Sweden is is amazing uh, as what he do. So so yeah, there's there was a few obstacles. Uh, log logistic wise but it, it didn't stop us in any way. Uh, Darren Demotional Illus do a Euro European tour with Demotion smash into pieces. That would be lovely, yes indeed. Uh, we'll see what happens. Jordan McKinney I came up with another question. Oh. This time regarding the name of the album. Don't get me wrong, I love the name. But I feel like there was a missed opportunity with using Hate and Other Triumphs instead. It would have been the perfect perfect trifecta of opposite teams. What's the story or reasoning behind Lust and Loading? Well, I, I, I disagree. Uh, I think Hellfrost and uh, and Eden Fire that that contrast was uh, that was really cool and 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 to to continue with that the, like the perfect contrast uh, on the coming album, which was Fragile Immortality. Actually, named that only human wouldn't make sense at all to me. Uh, so that's why I I I named it Fragile Immortality. And, and that's really not a contrast, it's actually the, the same meaning of only in human, isn't it? It's, it's only in human and fragile immortality. So it's the, it's the opposite of, of each other for some reason. Uh, and, and that's why, I, that's why I, I didn't want it to be like a parody of some sort. I wanted the, the name to be like a standalone on its own. So, so the the worldly dilemma is, is still baked in the all three of the titles with like hell being really warm and frost being very really cold and also with fragile immortality that doesn't make sense so that's why that's why it's it's the opposite of each other's and also lost and loading it doesn't really go well together it's it's sort of their opposite as well so that's why why I, I chose that and also it's it's a bit of a throwback to uh, Fear and Loading in Las Vegas obviously uh, and I, I thought that would be cool to have like uh, uh, maybe uh, upcoming tour names or, or gig names or, or something like that to, to go hand in hand with uh, th that sort of um, concept mm -hmm. here uh, Carol McCallink still waiting for your Euro Europe tour including Czech Republic. When? Question mark. Carol, we 
almost got ourselves to to Czech Republic this year, but we kind of got fucked over by the promoters, so you have to blame them actually. They should take better care of whatever band is trying to to get involved with actually. Uh, Brian Joffrey, your old joker, what's the next color after green? I actually have a good idea what's next color after green is. And it's just quite fun. Sebastian Kor, Kev, what about when will you make Europe tour? There's <clears throat> a lot of interest in this tour. It's still gonna be for spring. Now that this trilogy is done, what's next for the Unguided? That's a very good question, Jonathan Tigfeld. Um, we'll see. We'll see how, how this album goes and we'll just see what, what, what we'll do next, actually. Uh, it's, it's not really set in stone yet. Uh, I guess I know what, what I want to do, but uh, we'll see how, how, this, how this album is received. Martin Kennedy. I'm still waiting for some amazing artwork I can maybe add to my unguided tattoo or get a new one. Well, there's everywhere. Just, just go ham, man. John Cowie, what is your favorite sandwich? Ham. Ham sandwich. Christopher Shrug. Shug. Live Blu ray. Well, that would be something. Uh, Loic Van Hove. Belgium venues. Would love to go to Belgium again, Loic. Hassan Demir. How about a concert in Europe that's either not in Scandinavia, Germany, Poland? Poland? We've never been in Poland. How about a concert in Europe that's either not in Scandinavia, Germany, Poland? Yeah, how about that? Uh, the upcoming tour is, uh, is at your doorstep and will probably be in other countries than the ones you have stated here. Brandon Salat, what about the tour in America? I said before that's it's yeah yeah that's hard. Uh, Robster Linden, will it be Hello Awesome? Referring to the album, of course it will be Robster Linden. Frank Köhler, tour Germany 2016. Yes, indeed, Frank. Jeffrey Schlatter, linked to Fabian. I'm not sure what that question is. Andrew Bota, when is the UK tour? Well, uh, for for this for the uh, for this tour, I actually saw a, a UK. I, I saw a London gig in there, but for, on the on the the latest update it was included anymore, so I'm not sure what happened. I will actually look into that. So that is all the questions. Hope you're happy with the answers. Happy New Year, everyone. The new album is awesome. If you want to support the band, and I know you will, the best way to support the band is actually to pre-order the new album. Yeah, do it. Order the album. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>